I'm Rick Carrier from Mallory Marine. Today we're going to talk about common problems associated with ethanol and gasoline and how to test for them. Ethanol blended fuels are responsible for thousands of dollars in engine damage and higher maintenance costs each year. Even though the ethanol content is supposed to be legally regulated at a maximum of 10%, it's not uncommon to find fuel that exceeds this limit. Due to the way ethanol is added to the fuel, transportation methods, and storage conditions may cause higher ethanol concentrations to be commonly found. We have received reports of dealers finding the excess of 20% in some areas. This leads to chronic fuel-related engine problems. Some common issues and problems associated with excess ethanol and fuel include water and gas tank, phase separation, vapor lock, stalling, hesitation, hard starting, corrosion, rusting of all fuel system components, premature failure of fuel pump and other components, clogging and plugging of filters, fuel injectors, and carburetor passages, all leading to engine damage. Marine engine manufacturers do not recommend fuel with more than 10% ethanol content, and more importantly, will not warranty engine failures caused by excess ethanol and fuel. Mallory Marine's ethanol tester can help you avoid costly ethanol fuel problems, and today we're going to show you how to use it. Remember, always follow safety precautions when handling fuel and the tester. Fill with tap water to the water line. Fill with gas to the neck. Put lid on and shake vigorously. Stand vertical with cap on. Let it settle until a well-defined separation occurs. This can take from two to 10 minutes. Locate the gas water separation line and read scale for percentage of alcohol. That's how simple it is to use the Mallory Marine ethanol tester. Help avoid costly repairs by using the Mallory Marine fuel tester. It's easy to use, reusable, and gives fast results in as little as two minutes. For more information about Mallory Marine products, please visit www.mallorymarine.com.